I'm up here today on Broughton Down Nature Reserve, which is actually one of my favourite places to be. It's fairly close to home, so I've been able to walk here today. And it's a beautiful sunny day, so I thought I'd come up here to my favourite spot and have a look at what we can see. So Broughton Down is a, is a chalk downland. It's triple SI, so a site of special scientific interest. And the reason for that is because it has every stage of succession from bare chalk right up to the top here where we've got the yew and beech woodland and at each stage of succession it's providing a different habitat for a range of different species. So up here this is the only south facing point that we're on just here and in about a month's time this will be a mass of orchids, so there'll be fragrant orchids, common spotted orchids, pyramidal orchids, and a bit later on, there'll even be some frog orchids, hopefully. So it's, it's just so beautiful. Even now, before those orchids are in flower, you can see a whole diversity of species up here. Chalk downland is really special because it's so low in nutrients that actually that prevents some of the more aggressive species from taking hold and you end up with these lovely flowers which are characteristic of chalk soil. So we've got things like horseshoe vetch here, and this is the food plant for the Chalk Hill Blue Butterfly, which we do find up here. We've got some milkwort, this lovely blue flower that's right in front of me here. There's another one just here, salad burnet, which you tend to get on, on the chalk. And you'll find a whole range of wildflowers here. Right, so I'm in a slightly different spot at Broughton Down now. It was rather busy, strangely, where I was earlier, which it's not normally. So I thought I'd pop over this side and have a look at some of the wildflowers that we've got over here. You can actually see here quite a lot of chalk, so that tells you the chalk is right near the surface. So we really don't have many nutrients here. And if you remember, that's a good thing. So therefore we don't have the more aggressive plants which would take over but instead we've got these lovely dainty wildflowers which are very characteristic of chalk. So this one here for example is common rock rose, lovely yellow flower and it's a trailing plant so it can cope with those ant hills where the soil is constantly being heaped up by the ants. You'll often find common rock rose trailing across those ant hills. And then over here to my right we've got this lovely lemon yellow coloured flower and this is mouse-eared hawkweed and it's got that name because these little leaves apparently look rather like mouse ears so the underside is very very white and on the top they've got these bristly hairs here which look like mouse ears so beautiful lemon yellow flower and underneath that flower are some lovely pinky sort of stripes so really really nice plant um, lots of salad burnet here in front of me and there's a very dainty white flower down here which is quite hard to spot. I did spot it a moment ago and that's the little white fairy flax and again that's another plant quite characteristic of chalk down. Got a bit more milkwort over here. Plenty of other things in amongst this turf which will be flowering as the season progresses. It's a really really lovely habitat. Very very warm and dry up here today and all of these plants are able to cope with those conditions along with the low nutrients and so therefore they've got that competitive edge and they won't be taken over by more of the sort of aggressive grasses that we aren't so keen on perhaps. So up here on Broughton Down you will probably come across quite a few of these and these are ant hills. They're very, very old and they're an indication that this grassland is in fact very old and hasn't been ploughed or improved for agriculture. Hence it is still very pristine, beautiful grassland with lots and lots of wildflowers. The ant hills are really interesting because what the ants do is that they're constantly heaping up the soil. And so you get a certain type of plant that can cope with that. And they tend to be the sort of trailing plants and you'll notice the side of this is a little bit different from the rest of the turf here. And all of this here is wild thyme. 
Smells absolutely lovely. So you tend to get things like wild thyme, common rock rose growing on top of these lovely hand hills. So they're quite an interesting feature. And they, they may even have a slightly different microclimate on one side than the other, depending upon where the sun is coming from. So lovely, lovely ant hills. And then you can see all around the bottom here, we've just got so many different wildflowers in the turf here. We've got the salad burnet growing tall here. Plenty of leaves of flowers that will be in flower in a little while. Right, so I'm now at the top of the slope at Broughton Down and I'm in the beach and new woodland. And I love this spot as well because of these white hellebarine. And this year seems to be quite a good year for them. So there are absolutely loads in this section under here. You tend to find them in beach woodland. So it's really, really nice that we've got so many of them growing here on the nature reserve. And they're just coming into flower now. You can see these little white flowers at the top here. So beautiful white hellebarines. <laughs> 